All right, what we're going to do is uh, set up a couple sheets, or a sheet that has your drawing files on it so that you can start to uh, get things organized and outputted to Illustrator. So um, the first thing we're going to do is going to go into um, create a new uh, title block. I'm going to base it on uh, these title blocks here. So I'm going to open up this 36 by 24. I'm going to allow it to be rotated uh, so that I can make it either landscape or portrait. And I'll just save as. Or save that and we'll just call it out in here. I'm just going to call it a 24 by 36. Okay, I'm going to load that into the project. So project one is my name. Uh, and under sheets, you're going to create a new sheet. And you're going to base it on uh, this new 24 by 36. All right, let's see if I can rotate this. Okay. All right, so there's just an outline. Uh, that's all you really want to have. Uh, you don't want to uh, get all that title block garbage on it. And then I'm going to look, take a look at uh, my level one, level zero, and uh, I might pop in my uh, section. Okay. So one thing that you might want to note is, you know, get your everything set up correctly. Um, I've done a couple of tweaks in here. I've uh, actually told my uh, my topo line work to change a bit. So my primary contours are line weight 3. And I've used this dash dot. Um, I don't know if it's the perfect uh, Line style, line pattern to use, uh, but oh well, it looks it looks about right. So I'm going to use that. I did the same to um, did the same to secondary contour. So both of these are running that. Okay, so that's why these are slightly different. I may go in and tweak. Uh, if that's a little heavy, we'll see how the plot comes out. You're always going to have to test plot things. Okay, um, so if I want shadows on, I'll just uh, click down here and, uh, and use that. That looks pretty good. Um, once I get everything, you know, I've, I've gotten rid of elevation marks, and um, actually, I would like to see um, the uh, section line, so I might grab that. So once you get everything um, pretty much how you want it, what you might do is create a um, create a view template from view, and you call that you know, um, plans or something. You can see that there's already an architectural plan, but it might help be helpful for you to kind of set up everything on your own. And I'll describe a little bit of how to edit this later. So then you can apply that uh, view template to the other drawings that you're going to use. So maybe I would apply that to the section. We'll see if that makes any sense. It is a different type of drawing, so we'll see. It really doesn't like it, but I can go in, go all views here, and go find plans.
Okay. Thing odd going on there. A little extra lines. Okay. Might go and take a look at section. Uh, make sure it's deep enough. There we go. All right. All right, so now we have that. So let's go down to the sheets. All right, so we have this sheet. Um, I go in and name it. Lock up. And then I'm going to uh, place a few uh, drawings on it. You can always double click inside of these uh, and uh, perhaps change the cropping. You can actually turn off the outline if you want the lines to just kind of end and not have a frame around it, which actually I would recommend. I can see where you guys were talking about this maybe the scales a bit off uh, so if we want to uh, maybe look at moving the uh, scale down to one six one three thirty second maybe uh, instead of uh, one eighth uh, I would be more than willing to uh, concede that and we'll see how that that looks um, so I could bring in my section two. If you notice why I was moving these around, uh, there were a couple of cues that was giving me to get alignments just right. So I'll do it here. Uh, you see that blue dashed line, and that's uh, showing that the object is actually aligned. Now, if you're trying to get everything output just like just so. Uh, before you go to, into Illustrator and clean things up, then you're going to have to spend uh, quite a bit of time you know, of uh, tweaking this. Uh, all I'm trying to do at the moment is get uh, the rough drawings out, and then I'll do some, uh, some modifying, not modifying the drawings so much as uh, overlaying information. You might notice that the shadows are a bit off, uh, if I want to change that, you can see it's just strange. It's like there's a shadow and then there's not and whatnot. Um, to fix that, you're gonna now that you've assigned view templates, you control view templates through this uh, dialog. So I'm just gonna grab my plan dialog. I'm gonna look at uh, maybe look at shadows, see if there's anything weird there. Uh, in fact. I probably is in lighting so that's okay so I'm gonna go look at lighting level zero is the ground plane that actually is about right one thing that it also might be is my viewing depth so again I'm gonna go into uh, view template under plans and uh, and look at my view range so this is the associated level, but I'm going to have it go a level below for all of that information. Let's see if that fixes anything. Now, add the plans. Okay, so now it's all good. So if I want to turn off shadows, I would go into that view template. So this looks good. I'm going to export this in PDF. 
Um, I'm going to go under setup. I'm going to make sure that uh, it's in portrait. Arch D is uh, for 24 by 36. Make sure zoom is set to 100% so you, you get these kind of perfect 1 8 scale. Well, at the moment, these are 1 8 scale. If I wanted to change that, um, I'll, I'll continue with this. Okay, so I'm going to hit sheet. Again, look at the setup, vectors, fine, da 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 da. Uh, it probably won't give me vector. In fact, consensus shadows, I'm just going to go with raster processing. This will be for raster. Okay. And I'll call this, uh, this will be shadows version. And again, these shadows are probably way too dark, but I'm going to control that in Illustrator. Looks pretty reasonable. Alright, now, um, we did say that we wanted these at 332nd, maybe, that these are too large of a drawing. So if we want to do that globally, again, I've applied plan a view template. So if I go in and change the view template, I can go up here and change this to 332nd. And everything that is associated with that looks like this one isn't. Changes automatically. Now I have to kind of get it all aligned again. All right, so we might go and export that now. Everything should be set up correctly. I'll just say OK. Shadows, save. All right, now, of course, I want line drawings too. So to do that, again, I'm going to hit the view template. I'm going to turn shadows. I'm going to hit the plan, and we're going to turn shadows off. All right, and then I'm going to export that. Go into setup, make sure this is now vector processing. All the rest is good. Let's hope that works. Okay, so in Illustrator, I'll open that up. Line work. Okay, now it's all good line work. And if I create a new layer, this will be shadow layer. that underneath the line drawings. Lock that so I'm only moving. Looks like it's perfectly came in perfectly well, not quite. That is pretty good alignment. So now I have the best of both worlds. I have I should have pretty good uh, line weights. And if the line weights aren't correct, you want to export it again. Uh, so you want to check that and then I have control over this and I can tone it down as I see a plot that uh, maybe a dark plot coming my way okay there you go